Hello guys, how do you survive these hard times? Good friend of mine, Sergei Sachovsky, said that quarantine hit me hard. And he's right, that's why we are here. My name is Ilya Marchenko and welcome to my channel. Those who follow my career for a bit know that I'm not a fan of clay. Well, to be completely honest, I hate it with all my heart. And today I'm gonna tell you why I hate it so much. Dirt. Man, this thing is dirty. Everything is covered with this orange mud. I'm gonna show you. I'm putting a new grip before the practice. And here it is after. Three absolutely new balls, same as an extra liga. And here are those 30 minutes after. I'm not talking about shoes. There's absolutely no reason to clean those. Man, that's disgusting. Slippery. I mean, you know my brother used to be a figure skater. So I can tell you, even ice is not that slippery. On hard courts, I'm pretty fast. My legs are actually one of my biggest weapons. I'm pretty good at sliding it as well. You can fly. But on clay courts, I move like a cow. I didn't mean to insult you. You either can stop or you can start. Bounces. Bounces are usually pretty high, but that's not the main problem. The main problem, they are different all the time. Next court, they are different. In the morning, they are different. In the evening, they are different. If it rains, they are different again. You can start your match with one type of bounces and finish with the other one. And you know what's worse than different bounces? Yeah, bad bounces. I mean, it's not as bad as on grass court on small challengers, but you cannot compare it to any other synthetic surface. First lines. If the ball hits the line, it's gonna do something crazy. It either jumps high, so even Karlovic cannot reach it, or it speeds up like crazy, almost like Dolga Ball of GGR. What? <laughs> Second, clay itself. It's nature. Not everyone in this world has mastered the skills to make a flat and clean surface from dirt. Yeah, I'm gonna call it this way from now on. So many courts are pretty bad from the beginning, but even if they are okayish, you cannot do anything with those stupid tennis players sliding here and there. So at the end what do we have? Bad bounces again. Low speed. Although the average speed of the ball is the fastest on this surface, it's due to the fact that you have a lot of time and it takes much more effort to make a winner. I'm gonna quote one post from social media. If you play in a small tournament on clay courts, your opponent is a Spanish guy who comes to the court with 10 kilos of bananas and a tent, you better tank. And I completely agree with it. You better save your energy and mental health for those hardcore tournaments ahead of you. Color. I mean, orange? All those shades of orange color? When it's dry, it's kinda yellow. Who thought it's a good idea to play with yellow balls on almost yellow surface? And then lines? I don't know about you, but I cannot see those. White on yellow is not a great contrast. And in terms of feeling the ball, I'm definitely not the one. So I need to see those balls and lines, but I cannot. Weather. I know, I know, weather applies to all surfaces. But on clay it's different. On hard and on grass, it's only affect the trajectory of your balls. But on clay court, it creates a tornado of dust, which always fly into your eyes. No matter where you are, it gonna find you. I will find you. And I will kill you. <coughs> no, please, no! <coughs> Same for rain. You know what's good about hardcore? No matter how long rain was and how heavy it was, when it stops, max in one hour you are ready to go again. And look what happens with clay courts after long and heavy rain. But it's not the worst. The worst when it's long and light. So you can play. And you have to. While hardcore players are drinking coffee and doing something more interesting, you are playing under the rain. Drops are falling into your eyes while serving. Balls are crazy heavy. 
and your shoulder is crying from pain. You're wet and dirty like a pig. <laughs> oh my god, I keep insulting innocent animals. And then you call for supervisor to stop this nonsense. He comes, makes few steps on one spot and says, ah, it's okay, you can play. Breaking strings. I rarely break strings on any other surface. Usually I just restring them before the match. But on clay cords I break them all the time. Look at those bills I have for stringing last week. And these rackets I'm going to take to my next match. Just a little bit more. And a couple of drops. Yeah, that will do it. Taking care of court. And after everything I've just said, you want me to take care of this thing? Put some water, brush it after practice, sweep the lines. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! Losing. Of course, the actual and the main reasons we hardcore players hate clay are our losses. Here are my stats on clay court for a couple last years. And at the end of the day, this is what's important. And this is what gets me out of my mind. So even if you hate clay courts as much as I do, stay mentally strong and we can change that. Or maybe not. That's it for today. Subscribe for more fun videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.